fish vending machine we have designed an innovative fish vending machine called pesiteria fish vending machine in which fishes are sold hygienically and in a proper sanitized way it is good as they give consumers the ability to purchase fish they need in time at their doorstep the present ideology describes the innovative fish vending machine which has the capacity to store about 100 kg of iced fish and 25 kg of live fish this machine has a dead weight load of about 500 kg and hold the live weight up to 200 kg with which it can operate and move up to a distance of around 40 km per day to sell the 125 kg of fish and also to justify the circular economy approach from waste materials collected at the waste collection chamber by products were developed such as fish liver oil amino acid fish maw etc we have evening counter sections to the consumer for producing cooked products such as fish noodle fried fish fish salad etc the total vending machine setup is completely carried out on an e bike attachment that can operate with the help of solar energy harvester as we see here vendor can stand on the center place and he can process the product he can pack the product and he can cook the product based on the need of the customer the different chambers in this vending machine is placed at a proper location so that an operator can easily operate in more convenient way in addition to consumer friendly it can be said as operator friendly machine the whole machine setup was suitable to both men and women and it is said to be as a unisex vending machine thereby we can promote women entrepreneur the parts of vending machine are visualized for better understanding now we have the front side view of the following components uh, they are handlebar seat solar panel display glass pre processed table cooking table wash basin deep fryer live fish tank provision for cylinder placement utility chamber water storage tank and battery room Next we have the back side view of the following components as shown in the picture they are drainage chamber a display glass for live fish display glass for by products pre processing water tank inlet outlet front wheel of 80 cm diameter opening for insulated box water storage tank rear wheel of 40 cm diameter and drain outlet next we have a display box for by products deep scaling machine insulated fish storage box and waste collection chamber now let us discuss about the necessary instrument to conduct the various operation in this vending machine there are three major sections they are number 1 the processing section number 2 storage section and number 3 cooking section let's go through the components in each section number 1 the processing section it includes pre processing water tank inlet outlet pre processing table descaling machine wash basin waste collection chamber drainage chamber and drainage outlet next we have storage section it includes insulation fish storage tank display box for by products live fish tank and water storage tank finally we have cooking section it consists of cooking table utility chamber provision for cylinder placement and deep fryers now proceeding to discuss each components in a detailed manner Number 1 the insulation fish storage box insulation box is essential component to store fishes in cold condition for longer period and this reduces the spoilage of fish insulation box has the capacity of 210 liters with the dimension of 0.7 meter length into 0.6 meter breadth into 0.5 meter depth an average of 100 kg of fishes can be stored polyurethane and plastic are the material used here The polyurethane foam provides insulation and maintain its optimal temperature. There is an opening for the insulation box at the bottom of the right corner. The stored fishes are processed in the processing table using the water from process water tank. Next we moving on to pre-processing water tank inlet outlet. The process water tank has the capacity of 150 liters with the dimensions of 0.6 meter length into 0.5 meter breadth. into 0.5 meter depth it is made up of a fiber reinforced plastic material water stored in this tank can be supplied for processing table operation as well as descaling machine operation we have a centrifugal pump operator at the bottom of the tank and it is connected with a hose 
It has an inlet and outlet port through which water can be stored with the help of the hose arrangement. Next we going forward to the pre-processing table. The pre-processing table is given with the proper slope of around 3 degree towards center to allow the water drain at the wash basin. It is made up of food grade aluminium material to suit the purpose of cleaning and washing. Fishes were cleaned, processed and washed at this place by consuming the water from the processed water tank. There is a provision at the end of the processing table that helps to let out the water to the wash basin flushing pipe. Next we see about the wash basin section. Every home has a wash basin which is used for washing utensil, washing hand and for different purposes depending on the space available. With similar to the household setup, this vending machine has a wash basin. It has a volume of 0.084 meter cube with the dimension of 0.7 meter length into 0.4 meter breadth into 0.3 meter depth and it is made up of a stainless steel material. It enables to drain the used water from the pre-processing table into the drainage chamber. Now let us see about the drainage chamber. The drainage room is completely airtight so it is an advantage to terminate the foul smell passing out. It has the capacity around 21 kilogram with dimensions of 0.7 meter length into 0.4 meter breadth into 1 meter depth. It is made up of fiber reinforced plastic material. The wastewater from every component collected at this particular point and it will be properly treated before discharge. There is a drain outlet port available at the left down corner to drain the water outside the machine into an effluent treatment section. Further we see about descaling machine. Descaling machine helps to remove the scales while cleaning the fish. Descaling machine can operate up to 2 kg of the fishes at a time. It is placed below the right side of the machine. Its overall dimension is 2 feet length and 1 feet diameter perforated hollow drum with hand operatable handle attachment. It is made up of SS304 grade material. The waste of fishes discharged from this machine are collected in waste collection chamber. Now we are moving on to the waste collection chamber. Waste management is an important element of environmental protection. The waste collection chamber has a volume of 0.14 meter cube with the overall dimension of 0.7 meter length into 0.4 meter breadth into 0.5 meter depth. It is also made up of a fiber reinforced plastic material. The waste from the descaling machine and other processing waste such as shell, head, intestine, blood, etc. are collected. There is a door provision fixed to take out the waste from the chamber. The waste can be further processed outside the vending machine to prepare by-products that are stored in a display box. Now we are entering to the display box for the by-products. The display box has the capacity to store around 18 kg with the dimension of 0.7 meter length into 0.6 meter breadth into 0.5 meter depth. The waste collected from the descaling machine and waste collection chamber are stored and introduced to develop the by-products. Byproducts such as fish liver oil, fish maw, gelatin, amino acid, peptones, fish skin leather etc are stored. There is a display chamber is placed at the right side top corner of the machine and has a glass window which enables the customers to view the displayed byproducts clearly. Also it has a door provision to take out the byproducts. Next there is a special arrangement in this vending machine that is the live fish tank. Live fish tank has the capacity of 150 liters with the dimension of 0.6 meter length into 0.5 meter breadth into 0.5 meter depth. It is made up of glass on one side and remaining sides using the fiber reinforced plastic material. There is a door provision which enables the vendors to catch the fish available inside the tank. Live fish tank also stores the high quality of fishes so that the vendor can earn more by selling the customer in live condition. High cost fishes includes crab or lobster or palm fret or shear fishes etc on demand basis. There is a display glass for the live fish tank through consumers could see the fishes clearly. Now we are moving on to the cooking section. As we seen before, cooking section involves cooking table, utility chamber, provision for cylinder placement, deep dryers. 
Now the cooking area has a volume of 0.336 meter cube with the dimension of 0.7 meter length into 0.6 meter breadth into 0.8 meter depth. The cooking table is made up of stainless steel material. The pre-processed fishes are utilized for making variety of eatable products such as fish noodle, fish sandwich, fish soup, fish cutlet, fish salad, etc. There is a provision for deep fryer unit and a place for a gas stove for cooking purpose. It is economically benefit and plays an evening snack food store to satisfy the customer demand of fish snack products. Uh, and then the shelves were provided to place utensils and other storage things. The white space is given so it will be more comfortable and convenient to work and place the things. Finally, let us know about the other parts available in this mission. Generally, it includes number one, the solar panel, number two, the battery room, number three, seating arrangements and number four, the wheel arrangement. The vehicle is completely operated using the electrical energy, which is obtained from the solar energy of the solar panel that is placed at the roof of the vehicle. The description about the solar panel include its dimension of 2.4 meter length into 1.1 meter breadth into 0.035 meter depth and it is made up of the material polycrystalline. The maximum voltage power VMP is 45.6 voltage and the maximum power current IMP is 13.73 ampere. The total weight of the solar panel is 31 kilogram. The solar panel can extract up approximately of around 600 watt. This particular solar panel can obtain energy from the solar radiation that helps to store the energy in the battery of capacity of about 12 volts. Moving on to a battery room. The battery room has a dimension of 0.7 meter length into 0.4 meter breadth into 0.4 meter depth. Here lead acid battery is used to store the current. The capacity of the battery is to load about 400 to 500 kilograms and the voltage of 12 volt and charging duration of 5 hours. The power needed for the vehicle to run is around 1000 watts. The vehicle can travel up to a distance of 40 kilometers per day. The battery is once charged so it can have the potential to run for 2 days that is 80 kilometers. Uh, the weight of this battery is 31 kilogram. The whole vending machine attachment is placed over an auto grade tubular chase which is similar to the auto rickshaw vehicle available in the market to ensure the load bearing capacity of the vehicle about 500 kg. The proper hitch arrangement and other gear arrangement were provided to ensure the proper movement of the vehicle. Now entering into the wheel section. In this vending machine, three wheels are placed. One front wheel and two rear wheels. The front wheel has a dimension of 10 cm thickness and 80 cm diameter. The rear wheel has a dimension of 10 cm thickness and 40 cm diameter. The proper gear arrangements are provided with the drive energy available from the battery of e-vehicle for the good moment. The ground clearance of a vehicle is about 20 cm which is also similar to other rickshaw vehicle available. Seat and other handle arrangement are provided to fix for both male and female vendors and it is said to be a unisex vending machine. By giving the importance to women in the society as they are accomplishing many opportunities, this mission is said to be a unisex vending mission. Hence the whole vending mission setup is designed in such a way to aid the small or group of vendors to purchase this type of vehicle and the government provides subsidy to the small vendors and self-help groups. At last, let us have an overview of the economic section. The total manufacturing cost of this machine is rupees 1,39,710. The net profit value a vendor can gain in a single day is about rupees 2,137. Operating this machine for 25 days in a month can fetch a profit value of about rupees 46,440. The repair and maintenance cost incurred during the operation of the vehicle can be assumed as 5% of the total fixed cost. So, Rs. 6,985 is the cost for maintenance for the vehicle for 25 days. The capital amount invested can be regained by the profit value, thereby meeting the break-even point in a 3-month time period. Finally, the profit per annum can be calculated for this mission as Rs. 5,57,274. 
So this is all about the design mission which is made in either ways as customer friendly and vendor friendly and most importantly encourages the women entrepreneurs as well. Believers, we never let you down since we concern more about quality and safety of the product to feed the customer. Thank you for watching.